it's important to all of us that your pain is well controlled. So that may include a combination of, of different methods, including pills and, and or IV medications. Uh, some patients do have narcotics, some just use anti-inflammatories. Postoperatively, we do use a little bit of support. Uh, I don't want things too tight. It's something like the compression shorts uh, or a little bit tighter boxer briefs. A lot of ice, so I would like you to be prepared for that, whether it's uh, a refillable, reusable um, ice bags. Uh, your ice machine will never keep up with it. So um, the things that you can refreeze are nice. And really, yes, frozen peas is a real thing, and, and uh, so is frozen corn. So think about these, it's nice to have these around the house uh, so when you get home, you'll be doing it uh, pretty much um, uh, all day long, all night uh, for the first week or so. We like to keep the incision clean and dry. Uh, we do prefer a nice daily shower and we try to use the leftover HippoClean soap that we use preoperatively. Uh, every day, uh, really until that's gone. Once that uh, HIPAA cleanse is gone, we try to move to a, a dial or a dove soap. We like a nice cool or lukewarm shower. Uh, a warm shower or a hot shower feels really nice, but it can really incre increase your, your swelling. Uh, you will have a spot where the drain had come out that will heal on its own. Occasionally, a patient will have a little bit of drainage from that site, and we just have them put a little piece of gauze or band-aid over it, um, but you're still okay to shower even if it does have a little bit of drainage. We do put the pump for the penile prosthesis in the scrotum. Uh, it is actually very important to try and keep that pump in place. Uh, we don't want that pump to, to get pulled up, uh, so when we use compression, things can get pulled up or potentially get stuck in place. So it's important to pull that down. That's what we refer to when pulling a pump. When do we start doing that? You know, we actually start right away. Uh, so you know, we teach you how to do that in the hospital and when you go home, you're pulling that pump in the dependent portion of the scrotum, essentially every time you go to use a restroom. Uh, we do continue to do that for a week or two weeks. We think the pump will kind of get stuck in place around three days and it shouldn't really move much by five days, uh, but it's better to keep doing that for at least a couple weeks. I do send patients home with a stool softener. Uh, it is important to keep the stool soft. I just don't like straining and I don't like straining with bowel movements. Not all patients are taking narcotics. Not all patients have troubles with bowel movements. Um, if a patient is having a little bit more uh, constipation, then we can move on to things like Marilax or milk or magnesia. Uh, but for the most part, if we stay hydrated, stay on the stool softeners, uh, try and minimize some of the narcotics, we do a pretty good job. There will be some restrictions postoperatively. I don't like a lot of straining uh, for two weeks. And so really that includes lifting. Typically say no more than 15, 20 pounds for at least a couple weeks. Uh, same goes for cardiovascular type exercise. Uh, and depending on your line of work and what you do, uh, that may be included. Uh, we are okay to shower. We want you to shower. We want you to keep things clean. But I don't want you sitting in a bathtub. No hot tubs, no pools, okay? Definitely no swimming in lakes, oceans, things like that. If you're taking narcotics, we don't want you driving at all. Otherwise, I do let patients drive as soon as they feel comfortable enough uh, that they can move their, really, their legs quickly and they can uh, use the brakes and, and whatnot. Uh, as far as work, I encourage everybody to take at least a week off, no matter what you do. If you're doing some uh, heavy lifting, manual labor, more up and down movement kind of position, then you're going to take a minimum of, of two weeks off. Uh, of course, this is also variable, and there's uh, several patients that say, hey, can we take more? Can I take more time? Uh, I've got plenty of time. Uh, you know, of course, I, I strongly encourage that. After a patient goes home, he really 
uh, sits around with ice, takes it easy, not a lot of straining. We see him back three days, five days, or even up to a week or so. Um, pretty sore, a little swollen. Uh, then we may see you back a couple weeks after that. Um, by that time, uh, patients are starting to feel better. They're gonna have a little bit of swelling. Um, occasionally take an ibuprofen or something if they have a little more activity on that day. We start to inflate the prosthesis somewhere around two to four weeks. Uh, we start to use it around four to six weeks. Uh, so we definitely want you back to full activity, including sexual activity by that time. Postoperatively, I do expect some swelling. I also expect a little bit of bruising and there's gonna be a little bit of discomfort. Uh, you can have some burning with urination, uh, maybe a little bit of blood from the, uh, the tip of the penis or some drainage from uh, uh, the actual drain site itself. Uh, but anything else, I really want you to call us. I want you to, to ask us any questions that you may have. Uh, you know, fevers, chills, you know, let us know. Um, uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, you know, these are things that, that we need to be made aware of uh, and would be unusual. When we schedule you for surgery, we typically make the uh, first post-operative appointment. And that's usually within a few days after discharge. Uh, and then of course, uh, at that appointment, we kind of decide, hey, do we need to see you again in, a, in another week or two weeks uh, and, and make that appointment at that time. So when you're scheduled for surgery, you should also be scheduled for your post-operative visit. Uh, we often will remind you when that is at the hospital stay and at the time of discharge. Postoperatively, there is some care for the device. Uh, some patients, they do go home with a drain, uh, and we typically take that out within a few days. Um, most of the time the catheter comes out uh, uh, after surgery or the day after, occasionally we'll leave that in, um, and we'll take that out too. If a patient has staples, they'll typically be in anywhere from, oh, 10 to 14 days, and we remove those. Right away after surgery, we have you pull the pump down. Again, you do this multiple times, at least six times or so during the day to keep that low and the dependent portion of the scrotum. We also have you kind of move the penis a little bit from side to side. So one day you may be on this side, another day you might move it on the other side. And that's to kind of help it stay straight and heal straight so we don't have any uh, curvature when we heal. When the scrotum itself is feeling better and the penis feels better is when we can start to inflate the device and that may be around uh, two, two to four weeks. And then yes, uh, really we let you use it um, when it's comfortable and, and when it's inflated and uh, when the incision's healed. Uh, so uh, that can be pretty early on, but generally we, we say, hey, you're okay for sexual activity somewhere around four to six weeks. Please, please call my office if you have any questions, okay? Uh, I wanna know, uh, I wanna know anything and everything. Uh, you can call our office uh, anytime, any day. Uh, so yes, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you.